Hi, in this video we are going to do a tower destruction in Maya and 3D Studio Max. Here in the right side we see a shot from uh, Transformers, our reference shot, and the left side you see my result here. Let's uh, see the Maya scenes and 3D Studio Max scenes, and then we come back to Fusion and step by step we we see how to create something like this i use four different maya scene and two different uh, 3d studio max scene for this shot here is my main uh, final render scene i have lots of render layers i uh, here's my uh, second uh, Maya scene that contains main fire simulation that we see when the meteor hit the tower this one this one and my third scene is in Maya uh, impact smoked when the uh, meteor hit the tower it uh, you'll see there's a smoke here in the back side of the building this one i simulate those uh, fluids in a different maya scenes then import into my final render scene and position again and this is my last maya scene that i have uh, prepared basic breaking glass in the maya with enclot and export this uh, include cache to my final scene and duplicate it to put uh, in a different uh, positions in my final scene here you can see one here I put one here two three four five yeah okay let's go to max scenes this is my main simulation scene in max after i model this uh, let's reopen this file so after i model this uh, tower i simply add this as a, a dynamic objects and fragment it like a 90 piece and i select uh, these pieces and uh, add these as a static objects and the rest of them these are my uh, active rigid body objects I didn't do any uh, I didn't do any uh, special f I didn't use any special force or collider object I just uh, hit the uh, bake button and see the result because all the pieces uh, they are colliding with each other when the simulation starts those pieces push uh, push themselves out of like you see here it's a default simulation And then I select all these pieces, uh, active and uh, passive ones, and export this uh, scene as a FBX file to Maya. In Maya, uh, you can uh, select in, uh, individual piece and you can see all the keyframes. If you want, you can change the direction or you can scale the case to make the piece uh, fall down faster or slower. You can also select a couple of uh, pieces and group them and then you can uh, duplicate them and if you rotate it again you will see uh, pieces also uh, gets the keys so you can uh, play with those uh, small pieces and when you 
satisfied with your with the result your uh, web render as you can see in my uh, Mac scenes the simulation looks uh, completely different because I after I export this file as a the scene as a FPX file and I import it into Maya I remove lots of pieces especially in the back side of the building uh, more than half because we don't need those too many pieces and I, I'll, uh, I also add some small details to my pieces I create simple uh, iron blocks and parent to the uh, animated pieces here for the roof I remove as you can see in my uh, my uh, in my max scene there is no uh, in, my, in my max scene the let me close this marquee selection okay this uh, tower is a uh, not a single piece but in my Maya scene it's a single piece and it's falling down here you can see this one what I've done uh, I remove I select all these uh, roof pieces and remove all the pieces at the beginning of the simulation and I uh, group them and just animate with hand I have second uh, max scene that I prepare more smaller pieces and they just falling down. I also use same uh, same way. I just select all of them and export as a FPX file to uh, my uh, final main my scene here. Okay, let's go to Fusion and. See the render passes here. This is my raw render image. The here is the gamma. I render my uh, tower uh, by uh, with the original tower to switch in one frame. Let's see it. only in the uh, t top part and here in the merge node in one frame I switch to the uh, original tower here you can see the difference here we see the uh, one piece model here we switch to our uh, simulation I made a couple of color adjustments here. Uh, we have uh, one Eiffel uh, Tower here that I download from a web from a website. I have another building here that I download this picture from uh, from internet and in the Maya I simply prepare. A Let me see here this one. Okay, you can see this uh, image is different because I try another uh, another image, but the thing is it's a plane, and I position it by looking from the camera. Then I uh, put my main fire. I add a little bit uh, glow uh, we have uh, a meteor here I simulate this uh, meteor in the in my f uh, final scene the 
this one metal layer Because the, the uh, I animate a sphere that moves uh, along the direction, because it's uh, speed, and you see that sphere's position. But in the final result, you are not going to see this because we also render uh, metal front fire path that uh, very easy to create. I will show you. I made some color modifications for metal and here my uh, impact smoke. Here you see the when I render this, I also uh, add this uh, my simulation as a black hole to my render. So uh, when we see the render, you'll see uh, it uses a matte. Okay, this one. Uh, I I rendered this path to hide my. Uh, to hide my uh, uh, artifacts here, you can see the sphere position is clearly visible. I simply add this uh, to my to my render here. I have also a dust pass that I uh, I have done with uh, simple Maya particles. I just emit particles from the Pieces and I just render, uh, render with Arnold. I have another dust, uh, uh, dust render that I have done with uh, Maya Fritz. All I have done is just emit some uh, fluid from the falling pieces. I prepare a simple uh, uh, background in Maya and made some color modifications and put it into my background. I have a very small uh, chromatic aberration here, a film effect, sapphire film effect and I put a, sh a camera shake and we have a vignette here and lastly I have a motion blur here then to remove this because when you use a camera shake your image uh, because this uh, shake not use a tile in the wrap so you need to hide these uh, edges so I merge with the uh, simple background and actually we are scaling the whole image a bit so the final sequence is like this I'm gonna put all this uh, project files, Maya scenes, Max scenes, uh, Fusion Compositing uh, file to website so you can download and play with it. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, thank you.